Out of a story you're going to see on just one station, a sexual predator targeting students at a local school. Parents saying they never knew anything about it until Fox 11 started investigating. As if that isn't bad enough, parents say the school never told them anything about this. Phil Schumann live in East L.A. with the story. Phil? One suspect under arrest, at least three victims so far. That number may go higher. Parents, of course, upset. At the news that a predator targeting their daughters, but as you said, Christine, they're also upset. The fact that the school district knew about this for months and said nothing until we started asking questions. The alleged victim, students at Griffith Middle School in East L.A. According to the criminal complaint, at least three teenage girls, one under 14, targeted by an alleged sexual predator. Fox 11's learned one of the girls apparently sent nude images via social media to the suspect at his urging. She then went to authorities when he apparently started sharing the images with others and asking for more. I was in shock because nowadays, like with social media, you're really not sure what your kids are doing. The suspect, ID'd as Brandon Diaz, 25, arrested and charged with five felonies. Anyone home? Diaz, believed to have lived with his family in this Pico Union apartment building, no one answering our knock. What his connection with the school of those girls is, unclear. The alleged incidents happening between March and June of this year, the suspect not arrested until September or October. Though the arrest happened months ago, Fox 11's learned that parents here at Griffith apparently weren't told anything at all about this until last week when Fox 11 started asking the district for information. A robocall to parents contained this info. I'm calling to inform you we were notified by law enforcement of the arrest of a suspect involved in sexual misconduct who uses social media to contact minors. This incident affected our school community. The involved families have been notified by law enforcement. So Do you think the fine. school should have notified parents earlier? Yes, yes, I think. Tell me about yes. that. Yeah, because uh, we need to be aware of any danger here at school. Danger? Right. Dangers, yes. For them to know a few months ago, and barely letting us know that's, yeah. that's not right. Attorney Brian Claypool agrees. Not only LAUSD, but other school districts in California are worried about privacy rights of the alleged defendant or sexual predator. Claypool's won millions from LAUSD, resulting in policy changes. The district doesn't have a legal obligation to inform parents of a pending investigation of a non-district employee seems to me that it would make sense from a moral standpoint to allow parents to be informed. The suspect remains uh, in custody, $2 million bail. These charges could have put him away for life. My understanding, the legal obligation as negotiated by Claypool and others in prior sexual abuse case cases, remember the famous Miramonte case, Alex and Christine, it requires notification if an incident happens on campus or if it involves a school district employee, which is not the case here. Reporting live in East L.A., I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.